So for this video, we're going to talk about zebra English. So have any of you heard of zebra English? It says that you can earn 16 to $24 an hour. You guys, I'm just trying to go out there and find these companies for you. Now, this is what really caught my eye. Okay, we're going to go to this FAQs here. But before we do that, let's take a look, shall we? Look at this. Look at this. It says just open your available time slots and we will fill your times. That is attractive. When I see that, ooh, that is so attractive to me. So look, it says consistent students. You are paired with committed long-term students to help you build rapport. Easy teaching. Our students have learned phonics, vocabulary, sentence structure, and grammar through our phone app what okay now look at this let's let's just keep let me erase this right here let's just keep looking okay we're gonna go take a look see you know how every page every company's page has testimonials from teachers i love it here it's wonderful now before we go to this apply now let's go to the faqs let's go there Hold on, erase that. Goodness gracious. Okay, FAQs. About us. Zebra English is a professional online, one on one, you guys, one on one English platform that aims to provide online English teachers with regular students and stable teaching schedule. Our teachers focus on communicating with students to ensure they have mastered lessons already learned through our app. It is possible because our unique online platform does the heavy lifting by teaching grammar, phonics, vocabulary, and sentence structures. Over 450,000 students have chosen to learn through our app, and perhaps you might get to teach one of them. Hmm. What are the requirements? You need to be, it, it says, speak English at a idiomatic level, legally allowed to work in the US or Canada. So, you guys. I know that's that's a big deal for a lot of people that reach out to me. You have to basically have some type of connection to the United States or, can, or Canada. You need to be able to legally work here. Okay. So you don't have to like say you don't currently live in the United States, but you're from there, but you live somewhere else, then that's fine but you need to be able to legally be allowed to work in the United States or Canada. So some people say, well, I'm from the United States, I'm American, but I live in blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, if you're from the United States or Canada and you're legally allowed to work there, although you live in another country, you should be eligible. It says you need to have a, bachelor's degree or above that's another thing that people have asked me but as long as you have a bachelor's degree then hey tesol now you guys i have a link for this for tesol it's only 19 dollars. it is 19 i think it's 19 yeah 19 dollars, and you can get your tesol in a matter of days okay not months days some people get it done in one day it depends on how devoted you are to getting it done. Now, I am also, I've also been reached out to and a company wanted to offer, it's a TEFL, a company that offers the TEFL and they wanted me to be an affiliate. So I'm going to get the details and get that up and going on my page too. Some people have a TESOL or not, but they want, you know, they want to go the next step and get the TEFL. Now I have to see if they offer the Celta or the Delta. I have to see if they have that. And then it also it says, look, teaching credential issued by the state. So now if you don't have a TESOL, if you don't have a TEFL, if you don't have a Celta, then it looks like, it looks like to me that as long as you are a certified teacher, a licensed teacher, then you would be okay. 
that's what it looks like to me okay now some of these platforms say you have to have all three the degree a TESOL or whatever and a teaching certificate so they have this all grouped together in like either or so that's what it looks like that's how i would interpret that and then look it says if you have experience teaching online it's preferable but if you have experience teaching look if you're a teacher in the united states or canada <laughs> you pretty much have some esl experience because i know that you have had one or two students in your class that english is not their first language even if you didn't have to do much english was not their first language hey that counts as esl okay that counts now look at the interview process basic interviews 10 minutes demos 30 minutes demo test so i guess you get two demo tests which are each 90 minutes a teacher briefing which is 30 minutes a bc and a contract i don't know what bc is but so it looks like the interview process is pretty heavy you guys <laughs> it's not quick so filling it out looks like 10 minutes then the demo 30 a demo test oh and i guess this is the first demo test not two so the first demo test is 30 minutes the second demo test is 90 minutes so i don't know what that is i don't know what that is teaching briefing is 30 minutes where does the interview take place demo test one demo test two and teacher briefing will take place on the zebra english app after you confirm the demo interview time you will receive a preparation guidance email sent by our system immediately immediately please check your email inbox or spam folder okay blah 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 blah, blah. now this is what we really want to know payment per class is eight to ten dollars so each class is 30 minutes so that's 16 to 20 dollars an hour okay so whatever you get is based on your performance so for a lot of places getting started at 16 dollars per hour which that is the the lowest getting started at 16 dollars an hour is probably already more than what you're already getting so you get 16 to 20 dollars an hour for your base okay that's for your base that's the HR. <laughs> and then participation. So based on showing up on time, okay, you get a bonus. This is bonus. This is bonus. Total per 30 minute. What? Total per 30 minute. Eight, oh, eight to twelve dollars. Total per hour. Okay, so the most you would get per class is eight dollars to twelve dollars. Per hour the most you would get, basically your cap is 24. The most you could make is 24. That's what it looks like. This is the most you can make, which for a lot of, of people, that's like awesome ideal. Like, hey, bring it on. You guys, I'm using a new screen recorder. Isn't that awesome? It allows me to draw and erase and do all this other stuff. And no, it was not free, you guys. I'm going to do better with posting. I really am. And so I had to, you know, that new screen recorder that takes, I'm serious, it took forever to upload and all that stuff. So this one is quick. It's so quick, but it's not free. So I have invested in, you know, you know, just basically investing in my YouTube channel, investing in you guys. So I have a better screen recorder now. So I hope you guys are enjoying me drawing on stuff because I'm enjoying doing it. <laughs> so yeah, now bookings. How long is each class? Each class is 25 minutes. However, each time slot is 30 minutes. You get a five minute break. Woohoo! You get a five minute break. What is the peak time? So it's the same. Look, and they have, it looks, look, they said Beijing time. That means this is a China-based company. Anytime they give you Beijing time, it is a China-based company. So 6 to 8.30 p.m. Beijing time is the peak time. And then 8.30 to 6.30 Beijing. Okay, yeah. So how to make my teaching schedule. 
Zebra English is a professional online one-on-one -on -one English education platform that aims to provide online English teachers with regular students and stable teaching schedule. You guys, this is awesome. A company that books for you. I really like this. And I don't even know much about this. Um, when I say much, I don't know anything about this company, okay? But I like this. I do. I like this. I really like this. This week only. Repeat four weeks. Repeat eight weeks. Repeat 12 weeks. So when opening a time slot, you have four choices. Okay. So look, you guys. When you open your time slots, you can do it. So it's a week at a time. You can do it for just one week at a time. You can say repeat this schedule for four weeks, or you can say repeat this schedule for eight weeks or repeat it for 12 weeks. That is so cool. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna apply. I'm. When I see something awesome, it's like I wanna be a part of it. I really do, but I'm serious. I'm really focusing on teaching privately. I really am. And then my business, you know, my online boutique. I'm really trying to focus on that. But this is stinking awesome. Not even stinking. There's nothing stinking about it from what I know. There's nothing stinking about it. <laughs> so now let's do the ultimate, which is what a lot of you probably do. We just did all this. Now, you guys, look, zebraenglish.com. That's the website, zebraenglish.com. So let's go to Glassdoor. Go to Glassdoor. Now we're gonna go to Glassdoor. Let me get my cursor here. Uh, we don't want Glassdoor jobs. We just want Glassdoor. All right. Now we're gonna type in what? I don't want to do all that. I don't want to sign in. I don't want to do that. I just want to look at some stuff. Uh, Let's see. You guys, I don't know we go to Glassdoor through this. Find a job. Okay, let me, let's just do this the easy way. Um, Zebra English on Glassdoor, shall we? Okay, there we go. I should just do it that way. I'm not trying to log into Glassdoor. Zebra English. So it's, it looks like, I don't know, how new is this company? Seven reviews, 3.4 stars out of five. Zebra English is incredible. This was what, four months ago? Pro, I can only say positive things. I worked a full month with them. One month is still nothing but good. Every time, oh, there's a lot of writing here. Okay, I don't want to do that. Oh, wow. They had a, a long pro. I'm not reading all that. Con, the only con. It isn't really about the company. It's the time frame. Okay, well, that's not a con, really. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you going off for Chinese hours. Okay, this person gave it one star. I applied to Zebra English a few days ago. I have 10 plus experience, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this person is just sour. You can't be salty because you didn't get hired to give it a bad review. This person didn't get hired. I received a rejection a rejection message stating I was not a good fit. Really? What changed in only a few hours? What? I don't know. It looks like they were just salty because I don't want to do that. When I first applied, they expressed how excited they were in my application and resume. They wanted me to do a one minute personal introduction. However, I decided to go ahead and record it due to the fact that I received six emails from them. Okay, well, maybe your, maybe your camera presence was not good. If you, they said they were excited with everything else and then whatever you recorded, then they said, never mind. <laughs> I mean, camera presence is important, you guys, because that's what you're working on. You're working on camera. I mean, think about it, an actor and actress. If you talk to them, you're like, wow, you have a wonderful personality. This is going to be awesome. And then you give them a script and you say, okay, ready, lights, camera, action. And they just, they're just not good. Then it doesn't matter about everything else you just said. It's just not going to work, right? Or am I mean? 
Okay, let's do this one. Avoid the headache. This was, oh, look, this is April 1st. Today is the 12th. Okay, the pros are the late policy. Unlike other platforms, the late policy is rather lax. You can show up to the three minute mark after the class should begin. Okay, so you can be, well, let's try not to be late, but they're saying, okay, you can be late. Cons, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's look, correspondence. They spam you daily. You cannot unsubscribe from class notifications. Okay, some of this is petty. This person just don't like, put it in spam. Okay, they just don't wanna see emails. Any issues goes through their support ticket. Okay, any issues goes through their support ticket, which now functions often. So you need to follow up via email and Skype and really stay on the support team. This is a really big one for me after I realized I was being shorted for classes. Every attempt I made to find out what was going on was met with a curt response explaining something that wasn't at all related. After a month and many messages, I finally received a response. That was the straw that broke the camel's back and made me quit. Okay. Well, that's not good. Communication is key, you guys. Okay, class bookings. This one makes the least sense of any Zebra policy for me. Zebra English expects teachers to provide stable monthly, bi-monthly, tri-monthly schedules and stick to them once booked. This is wildly impractical as most online teachers do so part-time. Okay, now this is another, in my opinion, petty thing. When you know that that's the thing, when they say do your schedule a week in advance or whatever and please stick to it, then you can't be mad because they expect you to stick to it. That's just silly to me. You can get upset. Yeah, things happen. I have kids. I have a lot of children. So I understand wholeheartedly that things happen, but you can't blame the company because that's their policy. Most companies have that policy. Go Go Kid is super strict. I'm telling you guys. So, yeah they expect you to work the schedule you say that you're going to work in the contract that you sign teachers are not incentive incentivized to provide long-term scheduling okay you need an incentive to provide a schedule teachers are in are incentive to open 24 hour class i guess that's short notice classes okay each of these issues waterfall into further issues. Okay, this person, I don't know. That just, that's, with this window, please stop popping up. That just sounds silly to me. Maybe, I mean, maybe different for you guys, but okay, short notice teachers, yes. It's true. If you have long-term scheduling booked out, then I guess you want to be appreciated too because you're trustworthy and you're sticking to your schedule. Yes, so I guess in that in that way, it's kind of not fair. But then if you're going to be a short notice teacher willing to take a last minute class, then yes, they're going to be like, please help save our butts because another teacher didn't stick to the schedule and now we need a teacher. So yeah, they're going to give you a bonus. That's like you tell somebody, hey, would you do me a favor? Would you do me a solid, please? You're like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I owe you, I owe you big. So they give you an incentive for doing that for them. That's just how I see it. But you know, everybody doesn't have the same perspective and I respect that. You don't have to agree with me. But so far, everything that this person, this whole paragraph, well, minus the correspondence part, the lack of the long, taking a long time to communicate something, that's horrible. But the rest of that was just, needs to be just, I think it's just petty because they're just upset. Cancellations. Let's say you have followed the zebra model and given times for classes three months in advance, but after a month, you realize you're tired, need a break, or your child or family member has the issue. Any class you cancel, no matter how far in advance, will result in deductions to your pay. What? Now that's. No matter how far in advance, you get a deduction in your pay. Hmm. For that, see for that, see the first issue. Those are just two issues that are the most more focused on the company itself. 
Now that's terrible. That's terrible. If they gonna, no matter how far in advance, like if I'm canceling the class, that's gonna happen next week because something came up and then, you know, it's next week, it's not short notice. Surely you can find somebody. Don't dock my pay for that. Like I'm already not gonna get paid for it. So don't take extra money because I'm being courteous and canceling because something came up. Now that, that's not good. So you guys go to Glassdoor. I'm not reading all these. This person's saying five stars. This person's giving it five. This person says one. Hmm. So you guys go to Glassdoor and read to your heart's delight. Cause I'm not reading all that, but that should give you like an idea. Every company has somebody that's salty so, and you gotta really take it into consideration what they're saying, but don't take it as, oh, yep, that's what it is for everybody. Cause some people just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Some people just, they're, personalities or they just their expectations are unrealistic um so really do your homework research 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 but yeah so the address the website address is zebra english.com now let's see what happens if i click on a, i really don't want to put my stuff in here but yeah I, w I wanted to see what it would look like and show you guys, but I don't want to put my information in here and it locks me in because, you know, it's going to remember your email and password and I don't want it to do that right now. But, um, hey, if anyone out there has any experience with Zebra English, drop it in the comments, help somebody out because there are people that are looking for, you know, companies and this could really, you know, you, you could even put your referral link because I don't have one. So if you have a referral link and you want to help somebody out and mentor them through or give, you know, give them the real. That's one thing I pride my channel on, you know, give them the good, the bad and the ugly. Keep it real. Keep it real. Like maybe your experience has been all good. Just keep it real all around and tell them, hey, based off of my experience, it's been just wonderful. Some people complain about this, but my experience has been wonderful. You know, let them know. So you guys, thank you for coming to the channel. You know, I'm building a community and I am glad that you guys are all here. I am going to keep researching companies, especially companies that will book for us. Cause that is, you know, nobody wants to like put on a horse and pony show, trying to get attention to themselves when we just want to just wake up and have classes, right? You know, so let's help each other help each other. How about that? And as always, TTFN. <laughs>